What's up guys, welcome back. Today we'll be watching episode 2 of Peaky Blinders. So, last episode we met the Peaky Blinders gang along with the cop detective that's going to be going after the gang. And we also met Ada, I think it was Ada. Ada, who I thought was going to be a regular character, but she's going to be going undercover for the detective dude that's trying to take down the gang. Um, the episode ended with, like, what was his name? The episode ended with the dude who had, like, a random, like, episode kind of thing in the beginning. He ended up getting killed by Tommy, and I thought he was dead because it was just right there, but he's still alive. And I don't know where I can go from that, honestly, so let's get into the episode. Both got hits. Flip again. Yeah. Or not? I do thought it. they both had heads. Once she pops, she got the lingo. Papa, she slingo. Once she lacks her aroma. Or lacks her aroma. Yeah, but his mouth was a diddy quay whore. Don't talk about a man's mom like that. And there it goes. Bam. Like, why'd you have to speak about his mom that way? He could have avoided that. Wait. Someone told me, I thought that the lady in the last episode was their mom, but it's their aunt. So what happened to their mom? Or did they already explain that and I like, didn't hear it. Now, take your possessions. That place is empty, like no one on the sidewalks or anything. I knew what I was about to say. Are they gonna get like walked in on? Are you sure your brothers are at the fair? If it was them, they wouldn't knock. Look at this. A prescription for iron tablets for Ida fucking Shelby. So they know he was there. Donovan, need that favor? I'm gonna be quick. I'm not coming in. She is. Holy Jesus, it's the Shelby girl. Hey, you've not seen her with me. Oh, wait, that's a... Give her a cup of tea and let her stand till the police are gone. She's the sister of those people. Oh. Her devils. They were talking about her. She's an angel. Come on, Isa. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Freddy? Hey. Wait, if she's Ada, then who was the blonde girl? This is the holy grail I'm looking for. Something precious, something stolen. Perhaps you know what I'm talking about. Damn, putting her hands on her like that already. Sorry, misunderstood your intention when you pushed me against the wall. <laughs> Licky tea rooms, Friday, 10 o'clock. And when I say the boss, I mean Thomas. See, he knows who the boss is, because I automatically thought Thomas was the boss. So we both know what they were looking for. So she knows they didn't. He didn't get rid of the Rising stuff. Papers. Rising papers. He's not going to let it rest till he gets those guns back. So he's after the guns, or just, or the, no, I thought he was, yeah, he was actually after the Peaky Blinders, because he had files on him. She was sleeping. V, 
Beth, what are you doing? We're off in the fire. I just took the dude's picture. Bring it to Waterloo Line. So they don't like the king. With the Birmingham Evening Dispatch, I had a phone call. Someone called Thomas Shelby. Come with me. I forget that their last name is Shelby. Which is why I thought they were talking about the other girl earlier and not Tommy's sister. You said I would be protected. We don't think our king would want to see that happening. So we are lighting fires to raise the alarm. May I ask you in what Makes capacity sense. you speak? No capacity. I'm an ordinary man. Name any of those involved. It names Mr. Thomas Shelby. The report mentions he's a war hero. So he's not actually after... He's not after them. He's actually after the guns. Good of you to join us. Okay. Where have you been all day? In bed. What? Stand up. Why? Just stand up. Is she gonna think that she's pregnant or something? Side on. How late are you? One week. Five weeks. So, oh, we weekends. I think it's a lack of iron. She's pregnant with dude's baby. They didn't work. Tell you, you'll tell them and they'll cut him to pieces. Not if he marries you, they won't. Will he marry you? I don't think so. I don't know where he is. Jesus Christ, Ada. Look, he's gone away, but he said he'd come back. It's Thomas Shelby against the old bloody world, right? We still haven't seen the other girl yet. You get used to it. This is not. Good boy. Good boy. There she is. I, I'm so sorry, Mr. Shelby. I'm Grace, by the way. I know who you are. Grace. What's his name? Dig out a nice dress. I want to take you to the races. So it's a date. But you're getting paid. Is she telling him that his sister's pregnant with... Did she say who? Maybe he's going to look for him. Rudolph Valentino. That didn't go too horribly. Get out. All of you. Go on, now. I thought you were just leaving. I said tell me his fucking name. Oh, so he knew you lied. Freddy, your best mates in school, the man who saved your life in France. So go on. Go on, cut him. Cut him up and chuck him in the cut. I didn't know they were best friends. I thought they were enemies. I'm a Shelby too, you know. Put my fucking film back on. I 
So what is he plotting his death or something? So Monaghan boy finally lost. She wants Freddie to know she's having his baby. He deserves an opportunity to do the right thing. I say we give them a chance. That's if he can find them though. What if he doesn't know where Freddie went? For a woman who's had a hard life with men, you're still full of romance, eh? But Ada to bring a baby into the world alone. Paul, listen. The truth is, you would have hit me with that thing if it weren't for the fact that you know I'm right. What if you're not right? Thought I heard someone knocking. I couldn't get back to sleep. You'll have a good man on your arm. And you'll say, Polly, thank you for common sense. In a way, now I'm kind of hoping he comes back, but... If he doesn't, she has her aunt. This woman's in Cardiff. And I like the aunt. Take the train tomorrow. So now he's gonna go meet him. You won't be returning to the city. I'll make him part of our deal. What deal? So he's going to make him stay away? I want you to put in a word with the Chief Inspector of Gloucestershire that his men should leave me alone when I make my move. That's a lot of demands. Forgive me, I don't seem to have a pen to write down this rather long list of demands. I have what you're looking for. He has nice eyes. I know that's random. I, I just had to say it. What guns? I know it's play games. Wait, wait. Oh, he just admitted to having the guns. Leave the king's photographs. That was just a taster. If those guns reach Belfast, your life in the force is over. He's smart. I will let you know where to find the guns. Oh, why would I shake the hand of a man who didn't even fight for his country? Okay, then. Is that the thing that that Tommy brought Grace to? Grace. Or not? And find out where those guns are hidden. Of course, when I say everything, I don't mean. What if she ends up switching? Underestimate me in every way. Circumstance hadn't chosen you. That's what I'm trained for. I'm made for my shift. Or maybe she just she gets found yes. and then she gets killed. My heart is with you. Who would do that? Gary, tell me. Custom. I'm sorry. You're gonna kill the horse? No. He killed the damn horse. He looked at me the wrong way. It's not a good idea to look at Tommy Shelby the wrong way. Mm. I won't be wearing a cheap dress. And I ask you to let me sing. 
part of the deal now too. She's a She's negotiator. Smiling. It's nearly smiled. He said you used to work in. My friends over there. No one has heard of you. So what now? Not Legacy. well. He called you out, so. You had a girl from a good family. You got herself pregnant. And bringing a child into the world alone ruins your life. What? So she's gonna go along with that story? Oh, right. And Polly is wrong. Right about what? What happens when she turns up not right. pregnant? Looks like it matters to you. Happy or sad? Sad. I thought you were gonna pick happy for a second, but then again, not surprised. Already broke. With a black velvet band. No response? Nothing to comment? Okay. Jesus. Freddy. You came back? He came back. Got a tip off. Freddy, Tommy will kill you. Tommy got a message to me. Said get out of town. Take her with you. So. Okay. You marry me. Yes. Yes. That was unexpected. Yes. Okay. We're gonna stay here, we're gonna marry here. I'm not afraid of Tommy Shelby. I wonder what he's gonna do when he sees you though. I said, is there any man here named Shelby? A few. Because they're all Shelby's. Everyone else go home. Right, he's the oldest, you're the thickest. I'm told the boss is called Tommy, and I'm guessing that's you, because you're looking me up and down like I'm a fucking tart. <laughs> I want to know what you want. He's there a businessman. There's betting patterns at Kempton Park, a horse called Monaghan Boy. That is my name, and it's... It's from the Lee family. You were also at war with the Lees, Mr. Kimball, am I right? So he's going to try... And make an alliance for on. them. You men can't control them. You need help. Mr. Kimber, perhaps we should take some time for reflection. Possibly make arrangements for a second meeting. I admire you, Mr. Kimber. He ain't gonna give you a second he meeting. Started with nothing and built a legitimate business. Pick it up, Pikey. Is he gonna throw hands, shoot him? Sit. Sit down. He's not a man you wanna test. She so picked a fight with the leaves on purpose. Tommy, we can't mess with Billy fucking Kimba. Get yourself a decent haircut, man. I'm <laughs> going to the races. <laughs> Okay, so the people came in looking like they were ready to throw hands with them, and then Tommy was just trying to make an alliance. That whole scene was like really intense, but I, I thought it was really funny because the other dude, he was so 
loud about everything and then Tommy's just sitting there calm as fuck, you know, laid back. <sighs> and he, everyone see, like, everyone thinks that he's the boss anyway. Apparently the oldest is the boss or whatever, but everyone thinks it's Tommy. So, maybe he should be. Hmm. Tommy and Grace... Their little scenes that they sh uh, got together in this episode kind of makes me feel bad that she's like undercover and everything because I feel like she'd be good for him. But that's not what she's there for. Unless she ends up like turning something around like... We didn't see... What's it called? I thought we were going to see a scene with, like, the dude who I thought died. But we didn't see him at all. I was, like, ready to see, like, if he was just, like, working with them and everything. But, I mean, they did, like, he had to leave so people didn't know he was still alive. So I guess that makes sense as to why we didn't see him. But I'm just, I'm just ready to see what Tommy's going to do, like, once he sees Freddy. Because I know he was pissed and he was going to let his sister go with him. But Freddy's like, no, I'm staying in town. So I just want to see what happens whenever they come face to face after that. Like, is he going to give him a good swing or something? I don't know. But I guess we'll see in episode three. So come back for episode three. <laughs>